Nice job, Jim. Tasty. At least you got dinner. That's the stop. <laughs>
Hindsight. Should have done the scaling outside. They're everywhere. <laughs> Fish is clean though. And then the final touch we have to prepare is a few toasted sesame sesame seeds on top of the rice. There we go. Lovely little break sea cod from the south coast. Oh, those are beautiful. So these fish generally live well, they can get up to around 20 years of age, so they're not the oldest uh, demersal around here, which is pretty good. Uh, still pretty slow growing though, they only mature around two to three years, so that's why all your size limits are pretty important. Around the 27 centimeter mark, they'll start breeding. So, we just run into a problem. He's a bit too big. So, off with his head. Look at that, matches the color of the dish too. Beautiful. Okay, so before we put the fish in, uh, we got the broth to a boil, and then we took it off the heat. Then we whacked the fish in so it wasn't actually on any heat when we put the fish in. Three minutes one side, flipped it, three minutes the other side. And now, we're pretty much done. So that's what she's gonna look like. Time to serve the rice and get her out. Ooh, getting fancy. Is it my All done. So we got Nana's little turmeric and cumin potatoes there. Uh, a little pile of buttered rice with a bit of sesame seed on top of it. A little lemon to go with the fish. That's a bit of bulging groper. A bit of black ice at the front here. And a bit of all the uh, stuff it was cooked in. All the goods. So uh, I reckon it's time to eat. Mm. Mm. That black ass is unreal. Mm. Well guys, I'm yet to finish, I'm gonna have seconds because it's so good. But uh honestly I was pretty skeptical of the crazy water thing. I was like, nah, this is water, fish and water, that's gonna be disgusting. But I wasn't, it was very nice. So my black ass and crazy water. Black ass and crazy water is it's not the nicest sounding title of any fish dish ever, but um, it certainly goes down a treat. If you ever do it, don't forget the sesame seeds. I reckon that was a nice tiny little touch. And actually in the recipe, it doesn't show the turmeric and cumin potatoes, but they go really nicely with it too. And they just flesh it out a bit, otherwise it's a bit of a small dish. Um, but all in all, I rate it. 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Gone. <laughs> Gone. 10 out of 10. 91 years of experience and, mm. and she's still happy with it. So. Mm. <laughs> so we might leave it there, guys. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Give it a whirl. I'd recommend it. And uh, hopefully we'll do another catch and cook soon. So yeah. As always, guys, thanks heaps for watching. It means a lot. Obviously, this is my first catch and cook. So if you've got any suggestions or any requests, leave them in the comments below. Let us know what you thought of it, if I should do some more catch and cooks, if I should do them at the beach, whatever you want, just put them in the comments below. I'm moving up north soon, so be sure to like and subscribe to Primal Instinct. There's going to be heaps of content coming out, which I'm sure you guys will enjoy. Anyway, for now, we'll see you on the next episode. See ya!